Assalamu alaikum, may peace be upon you, brothers and sisters. My name is Linda Sarsour, and I am one of the national co-chairs for the Women's March on Washington. I stand here before you, unapologetically Muslim American, unapologetically Palestinian American, unapologetically from Brooklyn, New York. We have every right to be here. We have helped build this nation. And I want our Muslim sisters and brothers to start acting like we belong here. Joining me now is Linda Sarsour. Linda Sarsour. Linda Sarsour. She's the National Advocacy Director of the National Network for Arab American Communities. We will not allow ISIS, we will not allow right-wing extremists here in this country to take this tragedy and exploit it. And we wish to continue to build solidarity. I will respect the presidency, but I will not respect this president of the United States of America. You're suing Donald Trump now, along with a number of other plaintiffs. You were target of attacks today, uh, people accusing you of being anti-Semitic. I just think about history and what gives me solace is that every effective organizer and leader in our history has been vilified and now the right wing is coordinating attacks against those they see that can mobilize and resonate with the masses. I supported the first <laughs> Jewish man for president for that yeah. days. <laughs> I'm on the right side, I'm on the side of justice. That's the only sides that I'm on. We're tracking a story happening right now all over the world. It is International Women's Day. The organizers of the Women's March on Washington in January are calling for a day without a woman, asking women to take the day off. This is a movement about women's rights, and if you are a person that believes in women's rights or human rights, then regardless of whether you're male or female, you are a part of this movement. I march for my daughters and all of my children. But most of all, I am my Palestinian grandmother who lives in an occupied territories. Wildest dreams, sisters and brothers. And I'm so proud to be here with all of you. Justice for all.